Hey, I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and right now I've got my truck loaded up. I'm about ready to go out for a weekend of camping and uh, off-roading out in the snow. It's uh, the beginning of February, almost the beginning of February right now. Weather's not too bad right now. I'm not even wearing a coat, just a couple sweatshirts, but it, the weather could turn a lot worse tomorrow. So tonight camping should be all right. We'll see what happens in the morning. My truck's all loaded up, and I'm about ready to head out. As you can see, the truck is now in the shop and now out on the road. I was just about ready to head out. I fired it up and now I have a fuel leak. I think it's coming from the fuel filter. So I'm going to have to try to crank that down, see if I can get this leak stopped and uh, get back on the road. The fuel filters are on the driver's side rear of the engine. You can see them right there and they're held up by these bolts right here. It takes a 5.8 socket and I'll try tightening these up, see if that fixes my leak. I checked the torque specs for those bolts and it's 15 foot-pounds on those, so I'm going to use my torque wrench and torque them down to spec, and then I'll fire the engine up and we'll see if the leak is fixed. Okay, I'll start the engine up. I'm gonna check on that leak. Looks like it stopped, it's not dripping anymore. mistaking of whether it stopped or not. So now I can hit the road and actually uh, get there hopefully before dark. Well, so much for getting here before dark, but I made it. Looks like a lot of people are here already. Got a big bonfire going. Should be a good day of uh, wheeling and hopefully some nice camping tonight. Pretty cold in there. How's it doing, Troy? <laughs> well, it was dark before I got down here, and it's about midnight right now. It is 27 degrees outside. I think it's about between 50 and 60 degrees inside the truck right now. And we'll see uh, if it can keep this temperature throughout the night and see what is in store for tomorrow. It, they said that it's supposed to be snowing already. It hasn't, and we have an ice storm moving in as well. So this could get interesting tomorrow. Well, it's the next morning. Uh, the temperature in here is about 63 degrees. So it was a pretty good success. It's definitely warm enough in here. I didn't have to break out the sleeping bags. So now I think we're going to go cut some more firewood and then get to wheeling.
So today we're just going to use the Land Rover with the center diff lock option and it's just running on stock tires. Didn't have time to fit a better tire to it. All these other Jeeps out here are pretty modified with really good tires. So we'll uh, have to see how well this does. Probably not looking, looking real good. That's why I've got the rope tied up already so that they can pull us around if we need it.
starting to feel a little moisture. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's what he said. Well, it is that. Well, that was a big success. The Land Rover didn't get stuck at all. Uh, actually handled really well out on the snow. There was a log that we went over and then the car started to ding and we lost the traction control. And after that, you could tell that the Land Rover struggled a little bit more. But uh, before that happened, when the traction control was working, the center diff lock was working, this thing handled uh, great and it seemed to go anywhere that these other Jeeps went. So I'm gonna hook up the computer, see what the code is, see if I can reset it, see if I can get the traction control working. I hope that uh, when I hit, went over some stuff that it didn't rip one of the cables for the speed sensors off or something like that. So I'll hook up the computer and see what I can do. All right, I'll go under faults. This is my Nanocom here. Shuttle valve, Let's see if there's any other codes in here. Okay, at least it wasn't a speed sensor, so that's a good sign. This code for the shutter valve uh, is intermittent at times, so we'll clear it. We'll see if that will let us run ABS for the rest of the time here. And those ABS codes did clear, so I will have traction control again now, and the truck is ready to go back up on the trail with a fully working four-wheel drive system. Right now it's about 30 degrees Fahrenheit and it is drizzling here so the ground is getting a lot slicker especially where there was snow that's just gotten like an icy layer on top of it now. Uh, everyone is over in the woods so I'm going to go back there and see if I can join them. Looks like I found them. Looks like the Bronco has become stuck. I think they're trying to get him out of there. get out and uh, check this out. Another Disco 2 has joined us now. Haven't got to see him uh, in action yet. We'll find out how well this one's doing. believe how good this Land Rover is doing. It is doing surprisingly good out here, especially compared to some of these rigs that are very prepared. Land Rover is just
just walking through some of this stuff. I guess that just shows you how much engineering Land Rover put into these vehicles to make sure that they were capable of doing anything that they needed to do. There's normally a giant mud hole right there. It must be completely frozen over at the moment. Looks like his traction control is definitely not working. You can see only one tire spinning there. Not sure he has center diff lock either. If he doesn't have the center diff lock or traction control, he's really just one wheel drive. Disco got stuck on a log, so I'm gonna pull him back a little bit, get him unstuck, get him back on his way. It's so cold out here today, I hit a few twigs and it broke out the turn signal lens on the passenger side of the vehicle, so I taped up what I could here. This is actually a double-sided tape, but it's all that I had available. So, patch that up as good as I can, and when I get back to the shop, I'll replace that. Bronco is coming across the top of this hill here and split off a little bit. Trying to winch him to a tree right now. Don't worry about the trees, they're just making some new trails through the woods here. made a trail up through here, but the Bronco seems a bit wide to make it through it. Let's see if he makes it this time. They've got a snap block and they're using the winch on the ATV behind the Bronco to try to pull him sideways there. He actually needs to drive through where I'm standing right now.
Yeah. Mirror. Oh. really good day of wheeling really really impressed with the Land Rover uh, it is uh, raining right now We're supposed to get some ice more snow we'll see what it's like in the morning see how hard it is to get out of here and uh, actually this will be the first real cold start of the military truck so we'll see how well that starts in the morning as well I'm back in the overlanding truck now it's uh, raining outside it's getting a bit colder we have moved the fire over by the shipping containers that are here. There is a little bit of tarp over the top of it. That'll keep us out of the rain a little bit. Uh, making some food in here right now. This is creamy chicken flavored rice. It smells good we'll see if it tastes any good. One thing I have realized is that I have an organizational problem before I use this again. I really need to get some cabinets in here, get things sorted because uh, Polly and everything on the bed and then off the bed and on the floor and trying to, to find anything is a big problem right now. Also, especially for winter camping, not having a bathroom is not very much fun. So having a bathroom in here, especially for winter camping, is almost a must before using this again. So I've definitely learned some things. I have some ideas and I'm going to build out this truck a little more before I use it again. We're going to get this cooked and see how it tastes and then go sit by the fire and let's hope that the storm doesn't get too bad tonight. And if you were wondering if this is any good, actually yes, it is pretty good. Today I'll be riding with Daryl in his FJ40. I'm gonna try to start the truck up. This is the coldest that I've ever had it. I keep this thing inside, so this is the coldest this has ever been. So this will be the coldest startup that I've ever done. Don't know, have any idea how easily this will start. I do have to 
hold the gas down a little bit to keep it going though. back I have a lot of great ideas for improvement it's been a great weekend and I'll see you next time